swept wing being high angle of attack so it'll actually try to right itself but anything a cruise is pretty neutral so this will just go around in circles on its own here without touching i'm josh a pilot and flight instructor who loves the sky sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective flying can seem super complex but i make it my mission to promote safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer Subscribe to Climb Into the Cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. It's a chilly morning here in Daytona, Florida, and our work for the week is done. 80991 is ready for the rest of this trip with a PowerFlow Classic Stack exhaust. Daytona is a busy airport and actually the Rolex 24-hour race is going on right over there at the Daytona Speedway and lots of Embry-Riddle and ATP traffic taxiing around this morning doing lots and lots of flight training out of this airport. So the plan for today is we're gonna hop in the plane. I'm getting it all ready, rigging cameras so we can share it with y'all. And our plan is to fly eventually down to Sebastian, Florida today and spend a little bit of time at the Velocity Aircraft Factory. So we're just gonna kind of poke around, see what, it, see what they do there at Velocity. They build these awesome experimental canard aircraft that are pushers. They have the engines in the back. I'm very interested in the Velocity V-Twin and I've been chatting with Velocity a bunch. They're expecting us. They're gonna give us the grand tour and I'm really excited to see their whole operation there at Velocity. Directly in between Daytona and Sebastian, Florida is Cape Canaveral. And I've done this three times before, but Chelsea has never done it. I'm gonna ask and see if they'll let us into the restricted area and do the low approach over the shuttle landing facility. That's a 15,000 foot runway where the space shuttle used to land. We go right over the Kennedy Space Center, Visitor Center, and then we'll be onward to Sebastian after that. So we'll see how that goes. And while we're at it, it's a nice, cool, late January day, January 29th. There's a little bit of a wind out of the north and all the flight school planes are out enjoying the sky, making use of it, which is exactly what we're going to do here pretty soon. Visual approach to 7 left and use simultaneously the parking runway 7 left, 7 right. Birds to be connected parallel and intersecting runways. Aircraft assigned runway 7 right, tower frequency 4 with 8 with 1. Notice the airmen land and hold short operations in effect. Multiple frames in the vicinity. Worker park is adjacent to runways and taxiways. Alpha run up area closed. All departures to contact clearance delivery on 119.3 prior to taxi. Advise and contact information, Zulu. Here's the fun part. Getting a word in. 
We're going to burn all of our fuel idling here. Uh -huh. 3,500, they'll have your request. Departure frequency 123.9 or one 64. We're not going to get out of here. We'll get out of here. This, this is, is all of the birds. This is Daytona. This is all of the birds right now. Um, with information, Zula. Skyhawk 80991. Or 80991, go ahead. 80991, we're Cessna 172. Information, Zulu, like to be VFR down to X ray 26 at 3,000 feet via the shuttle landing facility. Number 80991, Daytona clearance, maintain VFR at or below 3,000. Departure frequency 1. Two three point niner squawk zero seven seven six VFR at or below three thousand feet departure one two three point niner squawk zero seven seven six eight zero nine nine one eight zero nine nine one read back correct good day good day. ground skyhawk eight zero nine nine one at ATP Zulu ready to taxi says nine zero nine nine one eight on ground runway seven right taxi via Echo Sierra crossway one six Sierra. Okay, Texas 7 right via Echo Sierra, cross runway 16 at Sierra, 80991. Daytona ground, middle 444, Romeo 3, is the pattern open at Daytona? Pattern is open. Uh, we'd like that, middle 444, we're ready to taxi. Very 5, you have the current information. Daytona Tower, Skyhawk, 80991, holding short of runway 7 right at Sierra, ready for VFR departure. Number 80911, Daytona Tower, turn right, heading 110, runway 7 right, clear for takeoff. 110, runway 7 right, clear for takeoff, 80991. He said right number wrong. Mixture and strobes, I know. Approaching runway 07 right. All right. Entered runway looks 07 good. right, 3,100 feet remaining. All right, looking for a 7 right. We're coming to 070. I see 070 on the compass. Heels down to the floor. Takeoff power is set. We're already at 2350. Coming through 50 knots. We're up and climbing. A little nose down trim. Pitch for VY. Here's our abort point. We're up and climbing. All right, over to 110. Success on 991. Contact departure. Departure 991. Departure Skyhawk 80991 900 climbing. Number 80991, day zone departure, radar contact. Alright, we got some options to put the airplane down if something were to happen, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting our best RPM here. Cessna 991, contact approach 125.35. 25.35, 80991, good day. Good day. Oh. <laughs> Departure Skyhawk 80991, 1,600 climbing. 80991, day 10 approach. Roger. 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 <laughs> Five. We're holding a sustained 800 feet per minute. 8.85, zero Charlie Romeo. Number 991, proceed on course. On course, 991. Number 991, how do you hear this transmission? Loud and clear. Thank you. All right, so we're set. We're bugged on the desired track. Our cylinder head temps are running hotter at full power, but we're getting a more complete burn. So that makes sense. It does feel like I've got to pull the power way back to get to 65%. Yeah. Well, you're pushing more power, so. All right. All right, we are lean for best power. I want to watch the CHTs here. So there's the master caution. We need to adjust the threshold for that. All right, so we were told to proceed on course, so we're going straight to the shuttle landing facility. And we haven't been told no yet, so... <laughs> but the real clearance will come from NASA Tower. Yeah. Number 991, traffic 11 o'clock, 2 miles southbound, 2,700 indicated. Him. Traffic at site, 991. Orlando Skyhawk 80, 991, 3,500, looking to do a low approach at the shuttle landing facility if possible. 991, roger, ready, service, terminate, squawk via far, please stand approved. Squawk via fire frequency change approved, 80 and is, and is uh, 2934 cold. 2934 is cold, 32 is hot, and the tower is open. Roger. 32 is hot, the tower is open. So now? Nope. No, we're good, we're good. NASA Tower, Skyhawk, November 8, 0, 9, 9, 9, 9, 1. Skyhawk 80991, NASA Tower, go ahead. 
80991, we're assessed to 172, about 1515 miles to your north. Like to request a low approach north to south. Skyhawk 80991, report a two mile final runway 15, expect a low approach at or above 500 feet for vehicles on the runway. Okay, well expected at or above 500 feet, report a two mile final 158091. NASA Tower. Isn't that cool? Yeah. See the runway? Yeah. It's 15,000 feet long, it's hard to miss. Yeah. NASA Tower 80991, about a two mile final 15. Skyhawk 80991, runway 15, cleared low approach at or above 500 feet, altimeter 3031. 3031, cleared low approach at or above 500 feet, 80991. Okay, so here's 500 feet, so we're just going to stay right here, and I'm just going to stay slightly to the right of center line. It's yeah. not, a, not a great view for you, but... <laughs> okay. Some history has happened on this runway. Yeah. My heart rate is, like, up. Isn't this cool? Yeah. <laughs> That's where all the construction happens, inside that building. Yeah. Then they wheel it out over here. Or out to the launch pad, rather. Yeah. And then roll out all the recovery equipment out to here. Wonder which one that is. I, I, there's no way I can read it from here. Oh. Tower Alpha Mike at midfield, request access to the runway with one vehicle. Alpha Mike now. That is tower. so Isn't cool. Isn't that cool? Kennedy Space Center, uh -huh. Cape Canaveral. SpaceX launch pads out there where Falcon 9 launched. Begin the climb. Aim to the right of the visitor center. You can see the solid rocket boosters and the fuel tank sticking up. See it? The orange yeah. pylon. Yeah. Yeah, these are all NASA facilities over here, and I think you, I mean, you can tour them. Yeah. So whenever we came, we went to the... Okay, Joe 991, where to next? We're just going to be departing the area via part of the south. Scott Gate 991, frequency change is approved. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for the accommodation, sir. You too. So they'll drive you, once you, like, go into the visitor center and the museum and everything, they drive you over here and give you the whole tour. Oh yeah. And show you everything, tell you the history, and then they drive you back. But you can get out over here. Sebastian Traffic Skyhawk 80991 Cessna 172, about seven miles to the north of the field. Going to be inbound uh, left traffic runway 05, full stop, Sebastian. Yeah, that's definitely the airport. Hi, uh, Sebastian Traffic, November 8441 Hotel, five mile final for runway 05, full stop, Sebastian Traffic. Sebastian traffic, Skyhawk 80991, 1,000 feet, entering the 45 left downwind for runway 05 via full stop. Sebastian will extend downwind for the traffic on final. And Sebastian, it's November 8441 Hotel, short final, runway 05, full stop, Sebastian. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. 11 o'clock, 2 miles, 700 feet below. He's just, he's up ahead low over the trees. He looks good. Sebastian traffic, Skyhawk 80991, turning final, 05, full stop, Sebastian. About a two mile final. Five hundred. Uh, Sebastian, November 8441, hotel, clear of five. Uh, Alright, the pre checklist is complete. You're strapped in. Okay, power's to idle, we got a lot of energy to bleed. Hold it right above the runway until the wind says you're done. Very nice. Thank you. There's a V-twin. I knew Say that. <laughs> Are you gonna fan, girl? A little bit. Yeah. I like those airplanes. I've never seen one in person, though. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Roger, we're going to be climbing out to the northwest, uh, climbing to 5,000 feet. Uh, we have visual on you. Don't think you're a factor at the moment. Okay, thanks. Alright, we'll chalk it and everything right here. Babe, that's a good looking plane. I know. 
us to walk in too, for sure. Yeah. We arrived at the Velocity Factory just to drop in and say hi because these home-built birds and what this company is doing really intrigues me. There aren't too many experimental kit planes of this class, a true multi-engine traveling machine, and it is one good-looking airplane at that. Chelsea got to fly right seat in their single-engine beast that has some crazy horsepower behind it, and I got to fly right seat in what I'm really interested in, the basic, fuel-efficient O320 Velocity V-Twin. This airplane has the same engines that the Cessna 172 has on it, so they're super simple to operate and work on and super fuel efficient. And we went out over the ocean and did a bunch of turns. I got to feel the airplane. I got to experience what this airplane behaves like on a single engine. And at 4,500 feet, the airplane was truing out at nearly 170 knots at about 11 gallons per hour total. That is some insane fuel efficiency, especially given the fact that there are two engines instead of one, and the single engine characteristics of this airplane are absolutely phenomenal. These were just short demo flights, and all I did was take my iPhone with me, but here is some of the footage from both of those flights. It didn't happen, which is nice. I like this one anyway. All right. Fairly neutral in, in roll at speed. So when we slow down like to about 90 or 100, you actually get uh, a little bit of um, um, a positive uh, like dihedral effect from a swept wing being high angle of attack. So it'll actually try to right itself. But anything in cruise is pretty neutral. So this will just go around in circles on its own here without touching it. After we finished up with the demos, we got back into 80991 and prepared to depart Sebastian toward Apopka on the other side of Orlando, where we're going to spend a week with my buddy Cameron and his family to rest and regroup before proceeding on to the next part of this long flying trip. Sebastian, traffic Skyhawk 80991, crossing runway 523, Sebastian. We're clear up that way. Approaching runway 0523. Clear that way. Entered runway 0523. Sebastian traffic, Skyhawk 80991, taxiing on to runway 05. Will be a uh, left crosswind departure to the northwest, Sebastian. Entered runway 05, 4,000 feet remaining. All right, a little bit of a left crosswind. Takeoff power set, airspeed's alive. Just 50 knots. Two hundred feet above. And Gyro, what's your altitude? All right. All right, we'll cross behind him. I figured you were going to be right, but he did what we both thought he wasn't going to do. Yeah. All right, Gyro shouldn't be a factor. Sebastian traffic, Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one, just a part of the runway zero five, making a left hand turn out to the northwest behind the Gyro. Should be no factor, Sebastian. Sebastian traffic, Skyhawk 80991, about two miles to the north of the field, climbing through 2,000 feet, departing the area to the northwest, Sebastian. Remember 80991, contact Orlando approach on 132.65. 32.65, 80991, good day. Orlando approach, Skyhawk 80991, 4,300, climbing for 4.5 VFR to Apopka. Marine 0991, Orlando Approach, thanks, I'll send it to 3022, and uh, you said you're climbing to 4.5? 3022, that's affirmative, 9991. 991, roger. So, I advise you the weather, Popkin, no landing, our way, traffic information available. We'll advise, 991. He's probably like, and that's the wrong oh, altitude for that direction. 194, Orlando Departure, we're in contact, I'll maintain 5,000, present heading. Present heading up to 5,000, number 194. Three hundred Echo Bravo, there's no traffic, is between the airport this time, register service from Ace Squawk, VFR, Have a good day. Traffic, three o'clock, two miles, one thousand one hundred feet below. Squawk, four two four seven, Fraser Romeo. Orlando, approach Skyhawk, eight zero nine nine one, four thousand six hundred. Number eight zero nine nine one, Orlando, approach, roger. 
All right, stay out of the Bravo. I'm gonna go this way. November 991, uh, I was gonna maybe take you over International, but you guys wanna go south of International? Yeah, we were told to avoid the Bravo, but we can do whatever you need us to, 991. Uh, I mean, it's up to you at this point. I, I mean, I guess it'll be quicker if you just stay that way, but you're cleared in a Bravo at 4500, and uh, you can fly heading to 260. Okay, heading 260 and cleared into the Bravo at 4500, 80991. Who was calling VFR? Crazy how used to this we get. And it's like, I'm like looking at some county road down here or something, and I'm like, we're just sailing across central Florida in an airplane. Yeah. By ourselves. Just because. Just because. See, see friends there, see friends here, now we're gonna go see friends over there. <laughs> I don't see them on the radio. resume navigation. Oh, navigation, 9901. Alright, that means direct to Popka. Oh, uh, yes ma'am, Pop Hotel has a seal inside. 213 Pop Hotel, clear vision approach runway 33, three, contact semi tower 124.45, just keep it within uh, no more than uh, 6 mile final please. That is a big freaking hey, parking lot visual three, three, for Disney World. Holy cow. Charlie Golf, Papa Victor Bravo, field like 1 o'clock and we'll call it 1 zero off. A little less than half capacity. Papa Victor Bravo, we're yeah. at 170 knots or less, clear visual approach runway 7. Oh, here's uh, a visual a approach uh, runway 7, yep. uh, 170 or less, Papa Victor Bravo. Air 5 uniform tango, clear direct Denmore to join the final, just to maintain 2000. Direct Denmore the rest of it. join the final and down to uh, 2000, 5 uniform tango. Number 5984, turn to the left heading, 03, Krishna, thanks for heading, 060. 060, 5984. Number 5984, in that turn, VFR traffic 11 o'clock and 4 miles southwest, down at 2500. Looking for traffic, Number I'll have decent for you shortly. Passion. Traffic 11 o'clock and six miles, turning south eastbound, leaving 4,000 for 2,000 citation. Looking 991. one zero hotel traffic, no factor. TFR below. Charlie Golf, Papa Victor Bravo, contact the Victor Tower 18.7. You got him? Yeah. 118.7, Papa Victor Bravo. You got him? Eight zero nine nine one traffic inside. They're cranking. Like. Got him. Okay. Go give us a descent. Really we cross him. Alright, basically, we're going to use 1,200 feet as pattern altitude. 4,500 down to 1,500 is going to be a 3,000 foot drop with some change. Six minutes. Out. Five uniform tango, contact executive tower 118.7. Have a good day. 118.7, five uniform tango, good day. I have 991, send at your discretion. Starting the VFR descent now, 991. As long as we don't go below 3,000 at our current position. Orlando, Skyhawk 80, 991 has a pop gun sight. Skyhawk 80, 991, thank you very much. You looking to terminate now? Yes, sir. All right, number 991, radar service, terminate squad VFR for exchange approval before you go. Traffic 1 o'clock, about 7 miles, opposite direction, indicating 3,700. All right, we'll be looking for the traffic. Squawk via fire for exchange change approved. 991, thanks for the help. Yep. Apopka traffic, Skyhawk 80991, five miles to the south of the field. We're going to set up for a left downwind runway 33, be a full stop, Apopka. Apopka traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is turning on a left base for runway 33, be a full stop, Apopka. Skyhawk, I have you inside, uh, 099 Hotel Kilo. Flaps 20. When I have a 62 forces, Charlie, family number 519. We have to go all the way to the end. So okay, it's okay. Traffic flight 299 Charlie Tank is about 6 to the east, northeast, uh, inbound for landing in Winter Haven. I'm leaned on purpose. Winter Haven, Charlie, Tower 33, let's see how I am from the east to the mouth of I'm going to feel traffic. pretty stabilized. Apopka traffic, Skyhawk, short final, 3-3, three, three, full stop, Apopka. Apopka traffic, 099 Hotel Kilo, extending left and wind for runway 33, three, Apopka. Alright, coming down through 70, we got plenty of runway to play with, we're going to go all the way to the end. Coming down through 65, here's the round out. 
Little balloon, just hold it in ground effect. Appropriate. Traffic 099, turning left base, runway 33, above camp. There's the nose. Apopka traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is clearing runway 1533 at the end, Apopka. Between running a business, running the YouTube channel, flight instruction, keeping up with my currency and everything else I'm doing, sometimes I need a solid reminder to slow down and take in the view. And that's exactly what this coming week is all about. When I get a calendar in front of me, I'm always tempted to pack it as tight as possible with events and productive stuff. But this week, I purposely kept our schedule wide open so each day we could literally begin with the question, what do we want to do today? We spent lots of time on Cameron's boat, fishing, and just overall hanging out and enjoying friends. And that is something I definitely need to work harder at making time for. In the next video, Chelsea and I get out of relaxation mode and back into flying mode with a long IFR cross country to Pensacola to meet up with CoFlight, and it ended up being a really great example of how to use the instrument rating in the real world for her, since at the time she hadn't quite taken the instrument checkride yet. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that upcoming content, and if you want to catch the full length cuts of these flights, you can sign up at aviation101.com slash cockpit club. The link is down in the description. Until next time, you know the drill. Stay happy, healthy, current, and most importantly, stay proficient. We'll see you in the next one. Fly safe.